Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to build a simple graphical user interface to interact with command line programs. And uh, you can use the basic concepts from this tutorial with any program you want. For this tutorial we'll be working with FFmpeg and uh, I'll just take you to the Wikipedia page. Basically what FFmpeg is, is uh, it's a command line program for interacting with uh, for working with video and audio files. So some of the things you can do with FFmpeg uh, include file format conversion. So for example this is a quick thingy on wikihow on using FFmpeg to convert from an FLV file to an mp4. And you can do pretty much most formats, AVI to mp4, AVI to uh, whatever else is out there. <laughs> The other thing you can use it for is uh, for extracting audio from a video file. So you can get an MP3 file from an MP4 file. As well, uh, some of the other things you can do with it include uh, making a video from a series of still images, or on the flip side, getting a bunch of still images from a video. And there's probably more uses, the ones I can think of off the top of my head. For this tutorial, we're going to be working with the last one of this, which is uh, extracting images from a video. But I want to take uh, just one minute or so to uh, step back and show you how, uh, like just one use of what we're building. And to do that, I'm going to open a sequence of images from the movie Iron Giant. Uh, keep near the end of it and what they are are a bunch of still images and uh, as you move through them you see they start to create motion basically and um, yeah so the idea is each each picture uh, changes very ever so slightly from the one before it, and that creates motion. So, for what we are building, we will essentially be doing the reverse and extracting a series of still images from a video file. So, to do that with FFmpeg. Uh, we will use this snippet of code and the idea is um, you have a video file and you want to get a series of images from a specific location so uh, in this tutorial I'll be working with this uh, with this video so I'll go ahead and open it up Now skip to a random location. Okay, 415 looks good. And we want the footage from 415 uh, till 425, so 10 seconds. To do that with FFmpeg from the command line, first thing you need to do is open command prompt. And I'll go ahead and walk through this uh, snip snippet over here. So, first thing you need to do is to actually navigate to the folder that contains the video file. In my case, this is the uh, it's this location. And um, yeah, so the first part, uh, the first part of it is just a, a simple call to FFmpeg. The second part, uh, like the first argument passed in, is um, where you want to start 
the extraction so in our case it's 4 minutes and 15 seconds into it the uh, second parameter is how long do you want to extract for so it will be 10 seconds The third parameter is uh, the source file of the video. So in this case, it's Sintel.mp4. Uh, it's the fourth parameter is how many frames you want to get per second. So you can choose any number you want. I'll go with four. Uh, the fifth parameter is the type of output you want. In this case, we want a bunch of images. So, we uh, can go ahead and write that. And uh, the last part is just the uh, syntax that will be used to name the image files created. And once you've entered that, you just go ahead and press enter. You can see FFmpeg is doing something. And you can see that it's generating the images over there. Uh, and here you can see the naming convention. So it's like scene underscore one, two, three, four, etc. And sure enough, if you move through the images uh, created, they create motion, basically. And since we did 10 seconds at about 4 frames per second, we should have at least 40 images. If we, go, if we scroll down, yeah, we have about 40 images, so that's good. So using the snippet accomplishes uh, what we want to do, but you can imagine if you are doing this more than once, it starts to become a bit cumbersome. So for example, let's say instead of 4.15, you meant to start at 4.10 or whatever, any variation of that. Or let's say you come back uh, tomorrow and you want to get from another random video. So basically, you kind of have to memorize that series of steps, and you have to memorize uh, this whole uh, thing, and it kind of, it's, yeah, it can become a bit uh, cumbersome, and that's why we're building uh, a simple graphical user interface to do this. So to demonstrate, I'm just going to delete the files we generated um, very quickly. And this time we're going to get the same series of images, but we're going to use our, a simple graphical user interface. So uh, just minimize that. And this is it. <laughs> it's not the most exciting thing ever. It's definitely not uh, the most pretty thing, but it does the job. So the same thing, we would choose the video. It will be Sintel. Uh, you put the start time, so we want like uh, 4 minutes, 15 seconds. And the stop time, 4 minutes, 25 seconds. And frames per second, which is 4. And go ahead and press start. So you can see this is the same window that came up before. And as you can see, they are the images. And as before, there should be about 40 of them. And if you go all the way down, yeah, there's about 40. 
Now, uh, you may notice that it says clip one instead of scene one. That's just to uh, feel that's arbitrary. You can call this whatever you want. You can call it, you can change the name. You can even remove the beginning and just have that, and all you have is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. But, anyways, uh, this is basically what we're building in this uh, tutorial. Just something like this. So let's get started.